growth. Vision breeds persistence. Is there? Vision breeds persistence. Vision is the capacity and ability to capture the future before it arrives. Knowing that the thoughts that we have today will become the realities of tomorrow. Vision is the capacity and ability to capture the future before it arrives. Vision enables you and gives you the capacity and ability to capture the future before it shows up. It doesn't come, but you can see it. He brought Abraham out and said, look at the stars and look at the sun and the seashore. That's how I'll bless you. So anytime Abraham was in doubt, God had shown him a vision. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, I have already made you a father of many nations to prove that to you as to how multiplied, how much of a multiplication you will be. Look at the stars. Can you number them? Look at the sun on the seashore. Can you number it? That is how I will bless you. So vision is the capacity and ability to capture the future before it arrives, knowing that the thoughts that we have today will become the realities of tomorrow. Your thoughts today will become the realities of your tomorrow. Your thoughts today, your thoughts, your imaginations, your vision today will become what? The reality of tomorrow. That's why you must set something before your eyes. When we start the leaders factory, we're wondering who will come and who won't come. Look at us. Look at what the Lord is doing. Amen. Vision is the capacity and ability to capture the future before it arrives. You capture it in your mind's eye before it arrives. Knowing that the thoughts that you have today will become the realities of tomorrow. Those of you who are getting engaged, you captured seeing yourself putting a ring on somebody's finger. You captured it. Today it's become a reality. Vision. Those who are receiving all kinds of miracle babies and miracle jobs here. A miracle immigration status. One more landed yesterday. Amen. British passport landed here yesterday. Amen. That's 13, just from January till now. I told you I am the bishop of the home office. Self-proclaimed. Because vision is a capacity and ability to visualize it. I see it. I see an off I have an office in the home office. I see it. I'm not in Croydon for fun to eat KK and fish at West Croydon. I am here to release people's documents who are willing to serve God in this nation. The capacity, 13 from January till now. 13. Vision is what makes a leader, not the other way around. It's your vision that makes you, not the other way around. It's not you that make the vision. No, you go to God and get the vision. And as you actualize it, you become it. <laughs> it's vision that makes the leader, not the other way around. Vision is capacity to see. So rob minds with people who see. Go where it already works. Go after those who have proofs. Those who who have obtained the promise not those who make promises go after people who have obtained the results i work with people who have proofs not those who make promises they have proven to me that it can work pastor matthew has proven to us in this nation that it can be done vision is capacity to see what do you see in your bank account Negotiating your desired future with today's currency. The latest book by Dr. Michael Hutton Wood. It was Alan Kay who said, The best way to predict the future is to invent it. In his characteristic, humorous, but insightful style, Bishop Michael Hutton Wood reveals in his latest book, Insights and Secrets to Creating One's Predestined Desired Future. In this book, you will discover 1. You don't sleep with a vision, you run with it. Two, prophecies just don't fulfill themselves. Three, you have another opportunity to start all over despite your past failures. Four, 
Fail forward instead of backward. And five, the future is what you make it and not what you think it should be. Other insights include, one, understanding the future. Two, the negotiation process. Three, building useful and successful relationships. Four, principles for success. Five, 30 secrets for creating change. Six, global initiatives and much more. Negotiating your desired future with today's currency by Bishop Michael Huttonwood. A must for your library. Order your copy today. Call 020-8689-6010 or order on our website by visiting www.houseofjuda.org.uk and order with your credit or debit card today. Welcome to House of Judah, the Cathedral of Praise, a place where your potential is released and your destiny maximized. You have been called to greatness. A dynamic destiny awaits you at Palm Croy House, 387 London Road, Croydon, CR03 PB. Your host, Bishop, and this is Michael Huntingwood. Where God isn't, there is no vision. And where there is no vision, the people perish. And where there are no people, the vision perish. Environment is important in manifestation of your potential. Join us every Sunday from 11 a.m. and your life will never be the same again. Releasing potential. Maximizing destiny. House of Judah. The Cathedral of Praise. Where your potential is released and your destiny maximized. He is a man on a mission. With a mandate to raise generational leaders called to set in order the things that are out of order and to bring leadership development human capacity building and wealth creation to all knowing and cultivating certain attitudes about yourself will give you the mindset you need to develop your leadership potential to the fullest and fulfill all that you are born to be releasing potential maximizing destiny house of judah the cathedral of praise where your potential is released and your destiny maximized it's about knowing and developing setting cultivating setting positive attitudes about life. join us every sunday from 11 a.m at palm croy house 387 london road croydon cr03 pb and your life will never be the same again Maximizing Destiny with Dr. Michael Hutton Wood from the House of Judah, the Leadership Factory, raising generational leaders, impacting the nations. We hope you have been blessed.